Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithura Kindiki today revealed plans by the government to amend the law governing the manner in which demonstrations are conducted in the country. The statement sent to newsroom said the government was considering changes to the Public Order Act, touching on 10 regulations of picketing and public assembly. Well, the proposed regulations will include notification procedures, duties of security agencies to protect the rights of those participating in the assembly, the demonstration, picket or petition. Also up for consideration would be the demarcation of assembly, demonstration, picket and petition zones. Now, the duty of public agencies and institutions is to set aside a zone for persons who wish to present petitions to public authorities. The duty of organizers of assemblies, the demonstrations, pickets and petitions to provide the hours, routes and other relevant information to assist law enforcement agencies to escort them and provide them with security. Well, it goes on to suggest a proposal on consent requirements from persons whose activities are likely to be affected by the assemblers, demonstrators, picketers, and petitioners, as well as obligations of the organizers of assemblies, demonstrations, pickets, and petitions to ensure that the activities remain peaceful, unarmed, and generally within the law, including compliance with the duty not to infringe on the rights of others. Now, the limitations on the numbers of assemblers, demonstrators, picketers, and petitioners at any particular occasion could be considered. In addition, the responsibility for cleanup costs and for the payment of damages to those harmed by activities of assemblers, demonstrators, picketers, and petitioners will be proposed as changes. Well, the Interior CS was categorical and said that it is not feasible for security organs to allow masses of people to roam streets and neighborhoods of their choice carrying stones and other offensive weapons while chanting political slogans and disrupting the daily activities of others. He went on to say law enforcement agencies would not tolerate the reported plans to repeat the violent, chaotic and economically disruptive protests that took place in Nairobi and Kisumu on the 20th of March.